Number one, pizza. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, that's like, wow. And we've all experienced three things throughout our life. Number one, puberty. Mommy, mommy, there's a carpet on my pee pee. Number two, best friends. Mommy, mommy, can I sleep over at Ashley's house? Number three, dysfunctional families. Daddy, daddy, where are you? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I never had a best friend named Ashley. Through life, you most likely experienced or will experience the following best friends. Number one, the way back playback. <laughs> this person has been your friend since time, okay? You've known them since grade five and they've seen you grown into the hot mess you've become. Y'all got your periods together, okay? Y'all learned about sex education together. Y'all went to the mall together for the first time with the parental supervision. And if you're Indian, that was when you were 24. Now that you're older, you don't chill all the time, but when you do, they make themselves right at home and they know your family. They come over like once every three months, open your fridge without hesitation, they call your mom mom, and they help you look for your dad. And they know you better than anybody else, so all those times you try to front like you're a better person than you actually are, they call your ish out like this. Yeah, I'm like not the jealous type. I like never get jealous. Oh my god, yeah, you're totally right. I've like never seen you jealous. Girl, remember that time your first boyfriend hugged his mom in front of you and you put him up for adoption? <laughs> like, boo! I don't care what day of the week it is, I will TBT your ish so fast. Excuse me, how dare you not double tap? Thank you. And even though you don't talk every day, you're still ride or die for this friend, okay? You got their back. If anybody messes with them, it's like straight up. What up, t-shirt reference? Zing, zing. No, number two, the adulting friend. Now this is the friend you've made in your adult life somehow, either through school or like your career or you, whatever adults do. I don't know, at Home Depot or something. I'm not there yet. Y'all are trying to figure out life together and your friendship is based on these types of questions. How do we do our jobs? What the F are taxes? What is commitment? Is this a midlife crisis? Have I drank enough water today? Y'all! Yeah, oh. Also, no. My piss is like neon yellow. Y'all don't party together, okay? Y'all go to Ikea together. Adult AF! And you probably spend a lot of your time with these new adulting friends, so secretly your way back playback friends hate this new friend. Your old friend is just like, yo, get the F out of here. Well, you what, you know Lily since what, 2014? Yeah, the only time you've ever known her is when she's had two eyebrows, okay? I've known her since she's had one, okay? Back in the day, when she didn't ever know how to put on her pants straight, okay? Get that out of here talking about Lily and friendship. Cha. <laughs> too real, too real, got too real, okay? Number three, the one who cannot be named. Now, chances are when you were in either high school or university or something similar to that, you had a best friend and you two were inseparable. Y'all got in trouble together, you know what I mean? Drank together, skipped class together, is that true? You should be ashamed of yourself, auntie, look. Both of you timed your washroom breaks during class so you could meet up for five minutes. Probably had matching bracelets, you know, nicknames, best friends for life. And then she made up with your boyfriend and your life lost all meaning. Something happened and you stopped being friends and you had to mourn for a full month. You were just straight up listening to Adele on repeat. Or if you're older, then Aaliyah. You don't know who Aaliyah is? Google it. You straight up buried that friendship under a pile of subtweets and indirect Facebook statuses. Just like, isn't it funny when people just stab you in the back? You know, I hate when people start sentences with, isn't it funny? Because clearly it's not funny. Clearly you're hurt and you're salty, okay? I know when things are unfunny. Trust me. That's why I don't watch my videos. You went on a cleanse from this person, okay? This person emotionally scarred you. This person turned you into a goddamn Targaryen because now you're in a room looking at all of these collages with her face in it and you're just like, what up, t-shirt reference number two? Number four, the boyfriend. Now, when you reach a certain age, you're gonna start saying ridiculous things like, my boyfriend is my best friend. You know who's your goddamn best friend? The person you complain to when your stupid boyfriend messes up. That's your best friend, okay, girl? Listen, I know you're horny and he got the equipment, okay? But if you're still shaving for your boyfriend, he is not your best friend. Cause girl, you come over to my house, you like me prickly as hell. I can see your leg like, here through your pants, okay? I am your best friend. Straight up, that ever happened to you on a separate note? You wear tights because you're like, I don't have a shave, I don't shave today, and then through your tights, your hair just like. The day he sees you as ugly and ratchet and petty as I have, I'll think about it. The day my camera roll isn't full of screenshots from your text conversations with him, I'll think about it. The day you tell me that he's seen your ugly granny period panties that you could basically use as a parachute, I'll take you seriously. And tell then he's not your BFF. Okay, get the F out of here. He's just your BF. He's your dither, I'm so smart. Number five. The mirror. As you grow older, you will 100% go through some sort of revelation or major heartache that leaves you with the realization that everyone else is trash 
and you're actually your own best friend. It'll hit you like a wave. Just like, oh my god, I am the person I've been looking for all along. I am Waldo. You'll just be walking around like a Tumblr quote, just like, me, myself, and I, the sun, I need in the air. You have new purpose in life. You love yourself. You talk to yourself. You watch movies alone. You're enlightened. You're reborn. You're like in a mud F and C a music video and doing the five movements from the O way, just like. Number six, baby bestie. Now, if or when you get old and delusional enough to have kids, you start saying crazy things like, my kid is my best friend. And to you and your hormones, I say, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Did the epidural just like never fade away? You just gonna stay high for the rest of your life? Just calm down, moms. Don't get mad at me, okay? Just let, we're still friends. I still need you to pre-order my book for your kids, so just stay right there. You clean their crap, okay? They puke on you. That's gross. Although, I go, you know, to be fair, I guess your best friend in college probably also puked on you a few times, you know? Oh, interesting. The circle of life. You thought I was gonna stop there, but I didn't, huh? I'm done. But hear me when I say that your best friend should not have come out of your vagina, okay? Wait, unless, I guess, no, no, wait, no, I stand by that. I mean, best friends are supposed to drink together, okay? Not drink from your nipple. I mean, unless they're gonna, no, 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 I stand by that too. Get it together, mom. Hire a babysitter, comb your hair, change your sweatpants, go out for a night, your life ain't over. Cut the crap, just like. What up, t-shirt reference on my tatas? Number seven. Mom, when you get old and realize that you have no friends, you come to the realization that there's been one person that has had your back since day one, okay? Who loved you and accepted you for the idiot you are and loved you unconditionally. Sometimes, most of the time, some, occasionally, unconditionally. And so you'll start saying things like, my mom is my best friend. Oh, does that mean you'll never lie to her? My mom is my good friend. Does that mean you'll finally accept her friend request on Facebook? My mom is my acquaintance. Does that mean you'll let her use your phone unsupervised? My mom is a friend of a friend. Doesn't she have dragons? My mom is Khaleesi, just like dun, 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 dun. Wait, no, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? I have a sound effect. I forgot, sorry, one second. Okay, that's my butt crack. Let me just do that joke again. Everybody ready? My mom is Khaleesi. What up, t-shirt reference? <sighs> All that post-production. Oh, I think that last one like slipped my bra strap, you know what I mean? Yes, no bra. Free the nipple! Wait, what is this video about? Yo, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you gotta let me know how. Click the thumbs up button, that's how I know. If you'd like, you can pre-order my book called How To Be A Boss. Link is in the description. There's also a little box right over there you can click it. Works on your phone, it will redirect you. Yo, pre-order my book, cause I work really hard on it and stuff, you know, and if you don't. I'm just kidding.